Hello, I'm Clint Bowers of Grace Tool, and today I'd like to do a demonstration on how to set up and install our cam cutter on uh, slick line for fishing operations. So the cam cutter is a relatively small, compact tool that has a piston in it, a cam, and a cutter block, which is used for snipping your wire if you become stuck in a hole. Uh, comes with a variation of different size weight bars for different applications. Uh, typically, the 18-inch weight bar is probably good enough for most applications of slick line up to uh, 125 size. Uh, then we do a 36-inch and a 5-foot weight bar. And uh, so I'll take this apart and show you the inner workings of it. Uh, what happens is the bean makes contact with your rope socket. Uh, it's activated, it pushes down, activates the cam which turns against the cutter block and snips the line off. So inside here, we have the cutter block itself, which has eight cutting surfaces, so it's good for many cuts. Uh, the cam itself, which does the turning and the cutting of the line against the block. And the, sorry about that, the bean itself. The bean has shear pin holes in it, that you can see here. There's two eighth inch shear pin holes, which also correspond to the body itself. So when you want to run this, you'll put your bean in, and pin the bean in place before it ever gets near your slick line. So we use an eighth inch shear pin. Sorry about that noise. Drive that through the, pan, uh, the piston itself and into the body so it holds it in place. There's two there and typically if you're running it we uh, recommend that you run both pins but for this application I'll just put one in. Um, we'll use this piece of shear stock as a simulated slick line and the top of the um, vise as a simulated BOP. So now that's pinned in place so it can't slide up and down. So we'll install that onto the line and hold it there. Then we take our cam, come to this side, and the slot has to slide over the line and then come down in the line with your hole in your body. So you hold that in place, take your cutter block and install it into the cutter block slot here. It sits in there. And then take your other half of your body, align it all, and install it onto the cam cutter itself. Then there's six uh, low profile cap head screws that uh, hold the tool together. So you want to install those, tighten them all up nice and tight. Oops. And uh, make sure the tool doesn't come apart when it makes impact. For this application I'll just install two so it holds the tool together for us. Now we install the weight bar. When we install the weight bar, it'll slide over the line through the slot and then it would be retained on with uh, uh, spring pins, uh, 3 16 inch spring pins. Uh, for 2 and 7 8 and 2 and 3 8 tubing, uh, the 1 6 2 OD is typically always good and you don't need to run guides. But for the larger size tubings and casings, we've threaded the bars so you can add uh, guide rings to it so when they cut your line it can't fall past your fish. Uh, there's a 2 6 or 2 7 4 size, a 3 and a quarter size, and a 3.75 that we typically have on the shelf. Other sizes are available on request and would have to be manufactured or if you needed a smaller OD we can modify those in-house. So anyway, you would install this on your line Gently set it onto your cutter because you're sitting on top of your BOP blocks here. And if you dropped it, you could uh, impact and cut your line if you sheared your eighth inch brass shear pin. So you thread this all the way down.
Once they're together, use two pipe wrenches and torque them together. Um, you're ready to drop it in the well now, so what you would do is you install your lubricator over top, or if you're open hole, you're ready to just let it go. Um, install your lubricator over top, equalize your pressure on your BOP, open your BOP ram blocks, and this is going to drop. Once the piston makes contact with your rope socket, uh, it's going to activate, shear the pin, turn the cam against the cutter block, and cut the line. So we'll see if we can simulate that here. It didn't have enough momentum, but as you can see, it did cut the line off and it left about a four to four and a half inch long tail there. Um, the cutter does not come back with the line, so that's why there's a fish neck on the weight bar, so you can run in, retrieve that, and commence fishing operations after you've retrieved your cutter bar. Thank you.